Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Put on your creative thinking hat, use easy AI tools and make superb movies and go win that Oscar that you always did. Okay, maybe that was a bit too excessive. We are living in crazy times and now with the help of easy AI tools and few clicks you can make your own short animated movies where you can star in them and fulfill all your fantasies whether you want to be James Bond or possibly star in Squid Games. In today's video, we will check two easy methods by which we can achieve this. Let's go check them out. The first step we'll do is come to this website called gravityright.com. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come here, come here and create your free account. Once you make your account, just log in. Once you log in, this is the interface you'll see. Come here and click on YouTube. Then click on YouTube script creator. Here, write the idea of your story. Once you write the idea, click on create content. And here Gravity Write will create the entire YouTube script for your animated story. Here you can see Gravity Write has created the entire script for me. Once the entire script is created, just copy it and paste it to one of your Google Docs so that we can use it in the next stage. The next website that we'll be using is called app.artflow.ai. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come here, this is the interface you'll see. Just go here and create your free account. Once you've created your free account, this is the interface you'll see. The free account gives you a certain number of free credits. Just come here and click on Image Studio. Go to then you'll see this interface. Let this remain as general. Let the size as 3 to 2. Come here and click on Add Style. And this gives you the option to select from the various kind of uh, animated movies one can create. Let's select 3D cartoon. Now we'll go back to our Google Docs and select the scene created by Gravity Right. I'll first select the first scene, copy it, I'll paste the scene here and then I'll click on flow and we'll patiently wait for this website to create an image. Here it is, the website has given me four options. Just select the one, I'll select this one since I like this and this will get saved into my gallery of this website. So similarly, I'll go back and paste each scene in this interface and create images for all the scenes. Once you've pasted all the images and created all your characters, come back to the main home page and once again come here and then click on Video Studio. Click on Video Studio here again. Then you'll see this interface. Here on the left side, you'll see all the images that were created by this website based on the story prompts we had pasted from the script created by Gravity Right. I'll go back to my note section and copy the first scene. I'll paste the scene here in the dialog box. Here on the left side, you can see there are various voiceover options. So I'll just select this one. We can hear the preview of the voice here and we can select the same. Now I, from the various images that were created here, I'll pick one scene for the introduction scene. Once again, I can come here and I can add more dialogues also by writing the dialogues here or I can edit the script here. Come here and click on effects and here I can add various camera moments. I'll click on a zoom out. I also have the option of adding various filters to the scene. Similarly, we come here, click on this plus button and create the next scene. Likewise, I'll go back to my storyboard and copy the next scene. I'll paste it here in the prompt box. I'll select the voiceover. I'll click on scene. I'll select the appropriate image from the images created here. I'll click on effects. I'll select a camera movement. So just like this, just go back and paste each scene and create the entire storyboard. Once you've crafted the entire story as per your liking, based on the based on pasting all the scenes and selecting all the images, just come here and click on export. Now let's see the result from the first method. Once upon a time, there were two young boys named Alex and Nick. They were the best of friends and loved going on adventures together. One day, they stumbled upon a city that was being destroyed by a fearsome dragon. The city's people were in despair and no one knew how to stop. Alex and Nick knew they had to help. They came up with a plan to get close to the dragon and try to tame it. The boys hiked up a nearby mountain to get a better view of the dragon's lair. They watched as the dragon swooped down into the city, breathing fire and causing chaos. After several days of feeding and caring for the dragon, Alex and Nick realized that the dragon wasn't going to harm them, and that it had become their friend. They decided to try and take the dragon back to the city, hoping that it would stop causing destruction. Now let's check out the second method to create 3D movies. Here we'll once again use two tools. One will be Deep Motion, and the second one will be Canva. Let's dive in. Second method to create animated movies. The first tool we'll explore is called Deep Motion. 
I'll leave the link of the website in the in the description box below. Once you come out of the website, this is the interface you'll see. Just come here and sign up and create your free account using your email ID. Once your account is created, this is the interface you'll see. Come here and click on Animate 3D. Then come here and click on Get Started. You can just go through this guide quickly to understand Deep Motion. For now, I'll click on Skip. Once you come here, you'll see this interface. Come here and click on 3D Models. Then, then come here and click on Realistic Avatars from Avaturn. Then it will ask you to create your account with Avaturn if you don't, already don't have one. Just make your account. Then it will ask you to create a new avatar by adding pictures of your face. Click on Add. Click on New. Then you will see this prompt box which shows you the QR code. Just scan the QR code and upload your photos and this website will automatically create a 3D avatar based on the photos of your face. Based on the pictures scanned from my phone, this is the avatar that has been created by default. You have the option of customizing the avatar completely as per our choice. You come here and click on the hairstyle. The hairstyle completely changes. Here you can come and change the clothes. You have all these options available here. You can quickly click on all the dresses to see which one you like. They also have these neat tuxedos. Come here and you have the option of adding spectacles, sunglasses, just stick to this one. Then I can change the shoes here, click on shoes. Then this shows me the various <coughs> positions that I can select to see how the avatar will look. I'll click on save, name the avatar. Once the avatar has been created, come here and click on create animation. Now for the purpose of this video, I have already pre-selected a video which I'll add here, which is a running video. I have downloaded this free running video from Canva and I've added this here for deep motion. Once the video is uploaded, you have the option to trim and crop the video. Come Once this is done, come here and click on video output. Click on enable MP4 output. Untick include original video. Then select custom background as solid and let it be as a green color so that we can later on add our own customized background. Here you have the option of choosing the camera and once so all of these settings are saved click on create you have all of this click on start job and here you see the 3d avatar is ready where it's imitating the video i had uploaded you can come here and increase or decrease the speed i'll increase it to two uh, you can also zoom out zoom in click on the model and uh, turn it to see it from all angles and once you're happy with what you see you can just come down here and click on download Select MV4, click on download. The next tool we'll be checking out is Canva, which is very easy to do. Use Canva to download a free customizable background. We can also use Pexels or Story Blocks. For the purpose of this video, I'll just stick to Canva. Come here and click on video. Just come here and search the video template for various animated backgrounds. I like this one. I've selected this and I've made this as the background of the video. Now the final piece of the puzzle. Now we'll combine the 3D animated video created by the Deep Motion website with the 3D animated background we selected from Canva. We can use any video editing software to combine the two such as Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve. To keep this video simple and easy, I'll try and combine the two using Canva. Then I'll come here and click on Upload. Click on Upload Videos, Upload Files and I'll click the video that I recently downloaded from Deep Motion. I'll click on the video, click on Upload. Once the video is uploaded, you can see it here. I'll click on this so that this comes on the page. I'll then select the video. I'll come here and click on Edit Video. Then I'll click on this Background Remover. I think this is a feature only available with... I think this is a feature only available with the Canva Pro accounts. But this background, the green screen can be easily removed in any video editing software such as DaVinci Resolve, which is free, I believe. I haven't used it, but this is what I've heard. So once the background is removed, we'll select on this. We'll select this. Uh, I'll flip this. I'll place it. I can select the video and I can make it smaller. I can place him here and let me click on play. Now let's check out the result that is achieved by using Deep Motion and Canva.
if you enjoyed this video you will certainly enjoy this video which is going to come up here on the screen where we have discussed an ai tool which will help you create the perfect captivating script for your animated movie if you don't have time right now save this video for later because no app or video is more important than your time thank you for watching i will continue to strive to make more such videos which will help us in our shared journey of self improvement and how we can leverage the power of ai